When it comes to games, for some odd reason, I feel like I've always had a little bit of a strange taste when it comes to things that excite me or I find interesting. I always thought that it was because I've played Brawl Stars for a very long time, so I found enjoyment out of strange things, but I've come to realize that with most games, I'm this way. <laughs> and it's no exception for my flexes or rare things inside of Brawl Stars that I find intriguing. Prepare to be flexed on. You know, most of the time I find flexing incredibly cringe. I think it's one of the cringiest things alive, but this is most definitely an exception in my opinion. <laughs> so I wanna start things off really, really strong here. If you guys didn't know, I've had a series in the past that we haven't really done too much with in a really long time because it changed a little bit some of the central integrities of the challenge. Ever since the Brawl Pass auto collection, guys, I swear, that thing has done a lot of damage to me. <laughs> but I'm talking about the blue, purple, and green Iron Man challenge challenge account where you had to stay power level one on all your brawlers and push them to the determined rank. But believe it or not, the blue Iron Man challenge account is one of my oldest accounts that I own. The series first starting off years and years and years ago, way back in the day when rank 16 was the very first purple rank and we called it the purple Iron Man challenge. They then changed rank 16 to blue, so we changed the name of the series. But because this account is so old, Old, and the accomplishments and the effort that I've put into this account was such a long time ago. The friends and the things that I've done along the way are from ages, ages ago. So these friends that I've made, some of them have been logged out for quite some time. Now, I don't know when I started finding this interesting, but I think it's incredibly cool. And that is the last online counters here from people who have abandoned Brawl Stars. Me sitting over here hoping that they'll never log back in because I love seeing how long these rack up. Hey guys, it takes years of waiting to see these numbers. Tons and tons of them in the thousands of days offline. But my highest by far here is I'm not Groot with one 1,580 days away from Brawl Stars. Just to put this in perspective for all of you guys, this account hasn't been logged into for almost four and a half years, specifically 4.3 years, dude. I know it might seem kind of insignificant to find this as a flex worthy thing, but dude, in order to get this on your screen, you have to wait 4.3 years to see it. And just to take it one step further here, Brawl Stars was released on June 15th of 2017, which means Brawl Stars is a grand total of 1,946 days old. So, hey, dude, 1,580 days is very, very close to literally how old Brawl Stars is, right? It's crazy. But shifting our focus from some of the more niche things that I find flex-worthy or rare to something that I think the average player can find really interesting. I don't necessarily consider myself a crazy high trophy grinder or anything like that. I have a few rank 30s under my belt here on my main account. I have one rank 35 on the main which is Mortis, and it's pretty dang cool to have a rank 35, but I feel like if anyone were to visit my account, they wouldn't see, like, something crazy thinking, oh my gosh. But little do most people know, or newer people here to the channel, or just visitors to my main account, that I've actually pushed four different rank 35s with one of the most proud of things I've done here in Brawl Stars playing this game, and that is my cursed accounts that have some accolades to them, and that is my three favorite brawlers, Colt, Mortis and Dynamite, making individual cursed accounts for all of them and pushing them separately to rank 35. We have Dynamite here first, and then I pushed Mortis and Colt at the same exact time to rank 35 here. So I've pushed Mortis twice to rank 35 and Colt and Dynamite both separate times. Now, a four rank 35s nowadays isn't anything to like write home about or anything like that. I mean, just look at Hyra here. All of his brothers are at rank 35, 60 of them in one season. <laughs> but I don't know. It's something about them being cursed accounts. They're my three favorite brawlers and knowing the time and effort that I put into all of them being not as good of a player as Hyra that make it that much more meaningful to me. And on top of that, the whole concept of cursed accounts has been through the ringer with each coming update. It seems like they're harder and harder to push. So things like this, I think are a little bit more rare and hard to do nowadays. So cursed accounts like this will always hold a near dear spot 
in my heart for the rest of my YouTube career and Brawl Stars career. But moving along to my next flex worthy thing that I find very, very fun. And that is over here on one of my many accounts here in Brawl Stars, another crazy high date total and just nostalgic feelings. Now, everything in my inbox has been collected over here. But if you take a look at the personal tab, you can take a look back at some crazy, wicked, long things ago, kind of just showing you how old your account is here. As you can see, I ended up getting Getting the wizard barley skin 1226 days ago on this account and on top of that same day hey I got maple barley too I think it was for some sort of supercell sponsored live stream or something like that where maple barley was the newest skin coming out now that is my technical oldest thing across all of my accounts that is visible within my inbox but taking a look at another really satisfying one here on the razor beam account taking a look at past seasons being auto collected even season one it's almost like a time relic where we're getting this personal notification from such a long time ago back when brawl stars was very very young and the brawl pass was first introduced to the game isn't that crazy but moving along to my next flex worthy thing that i've made certain to keep on my account when this was first initially implemented into brawl stars and that was this whole concept around vaulting brawl boxes there was a brief duration in between the brawl pass auto collection feature as well as the introduction of the very first brawl pass where rewards were still kind of similar to the way brawl stars once was where you got to keep all of your stashed away brawl boxes back in the day when the brawl pass wasn't a thing and it was transferred over to your vaulted brawl boxes here in the top right hand corner of the screen along your brawl pass so as you can see these four brawl boxes are vaulted for from eons ago, dude, years ago, back when the Brawl Pass was very, very young. So, you know, being a boomer Brawl Stars player here, I find this very, very fun that these Brawl Boxes have been waiting on my account, these four Brawl Boxes, for years to be opened, and I refuse to open them. What could be inside them? Hey, maybe a legendary brawler has been sitting in there waiting for me this entire time, but I'll never know, because I'm not opening them. <laughs> this is just a giant nostalgia trip. It's so dang fun looking back at all the fun times that we've had along the way already up until this point here in Brawl Stars, but wrapping things up with just a few other flex-worthy or rare things that I find noteworthy here in my possession, one of which is one that I've already mentioned, and that is one of my Iron Man Challenge accounts. This one in particular I find a little bit more impressive than the other ones, and that is the Green Iron Man Challenge, where it was the hardest one of them all, and honestly, the roadblock. You can't go any further than this. I had a ton of people ask me to do a Road to Red Iron Man Challenge, Challenge, push to a thousand trophies at power level one, but it was physically impossible. These grinds at power level one to rank 25, I would have help from phenomenal players out there helping me push, and these grinds would take hours upon hours, upwards of like 12 hours straight of grinding just to get a rank 25 on a power level one. So every single brawler here that I've gotten this rank for has hours of pain, sweat, anger put into them over just, you know, playing Brawl Stars at a less optimal way. <laughs> but dude, I wouldn't trade it for the world. This was incredibly fun and I'll always hold this at a high standard and be very impressed by Past Ray for putting up with these grinds. <laughs> and the final thing I would say, I guess, is somewhat of a flex-worthy thing or just a symptom of playing Brawl Stars and making YouTube videos on Brawl Stars for as long as I've had. And that is my total official amount of accounts that I own here. I've never really sharing and I can't actually show you the IDs because it shows your email in there and I don't want to do that but I counted up before making this video and I have a grand total of 46 different accounts. <laughs> take it as a flex worthy thing take it as just a you know something wrong with my brain type of thing <laughs> but we'll take it at that but yeah everyone I hope you all enjoyed this type of video it was incredibly fun for me to share with all of you guys Brawl Stars is truly a magical game and it's fun to look back at older things and things that you find I guess important that some wouldn't here playing Brawl Stars here but yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Thanks for the continued support here watching the channel. I really, really appreciate it. But with that being said, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, whatever you find fun about it. And we'll see you in the next video. Adios and take care.